Good morning. Happy Thrifty Thursday, everyone. This is a long time coming. I have not been able to go thrift shopping um, for over a month because I have been trying to get over this cold slash sinus infection. But I went out last Friday and Saturday and went to a few of my favorite stops and I'm going to share the finds with you today. This is an open collaboration anyone can join, hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. I will link her channel below. All you have to do is post uh, the finds that you have been able to acquire at thrift shops, yard sales, estate sales, or even deals that you find online on eBay or Walmart or whatever, and just tag it with the hashtag Thrifty Thursday and make sure you link back to Sherry's channel. So I went to three places last weekend. The first was our library bookshop, which is always a treat. Um, there are just the sweetest little ladies that work in there and I love, you know, being around them. And I'm assuming they're all volunteers, which is awesome. And then after that, we went to a thrift shop near us uh, that was having a big sale. And then we went to a one of my favorite church thrift shops. So we'll start with the library book sale or bookshop. So this, um, well, it was only 25 cents, 1964. Um, I, it's mainly photographs inside, so I didn't, you know, I didn't get this because of the botanical drawings. Uh, I honestly, for 25 cents, mainly got it for the cover. <laughs> the paper cover, I just love this. I love the, can you see the little negative images? I think it's so cool. Uh, the book itself is not bad. It would make a cute junk journal. I've seen those flowers before, but I don't know what they're called. Um, but yes, I uh, could not pass this up. Um, but it is all about flowers in my state. Someone, I guess, wrote when they purchased this book. And it is shiny pages, and these are just full color photographs of all of the wild, different wildflowers that you'll find in the state. So pretty cool. And then at the beginning, at the beginning it has, um, you know, a few black and white diagrams of, there's a glossary and I thought there was a flower parts. Oh well, there it is. Little flower parts man, uh, diagram, but yeah. For 25 cents couldn't pass and they were also having a sale in this bookshop buy one get one free so i think i got six or eight books but i only paid for three so you can't beat that the next thing i got was the masterpieces of painting in the louvre this is also i think a vintage book um Let's see, Hatchet Publishers, 1961. I don't, um, but I, I, I would like to start using more. Um, I just love the rich colors. So I'd always told myself if I found a small book, because you know, some of the art books can be humongous. Um, if I find some of the small books, I would get one, as, of course, if it was a good price. Well, this was 25 cents, so, or it might've been one of the free ones. So excited about this. The front of it's kind of waxy, like a laminated that's coming apart. Okay, this was a totally random find, but perfect when you see it, because you, if you know my next project, my next big project, I'm making a set of um, retro space journals. This is NASA Astronauts Photography Manual by Hasselblad. And it's just totally random. I looked and looked. I cannot find a date. Oh, here it is, 84. Gosh, this is before the Challenger and all that. So it basically tells you uh, how to take a Hasselblad camera into outer space. I mean, this is a very narrow, narrow slice of society that would need <laughs> this book. I don't know how it ended up in our tiny library bookshop, but I could not leave it there. It was also 25 cents. Just the front image alone is incredible. Excited about that. 
Okay, this is a book that I have on my personal bookshelf. Uh, I've cooked a few things out of it, but as you know, cookbooks from the 50s can be a little interesting. Uh, but I did not have the heart to tear this one up because I bought this at a used book sale right after my husband and I got married. And I always said if I found another one, I would get it. Well, I found another one and it was 25 cents. I'm sure you guys have seen the holiday cookbook. And inside of it, it just has all the major holidays, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Pat's Day. And then in the back, it has more like other themed uh, celebrations that you could do an Asian party, a Viking party, uh, Mexican, Polynesian birthdays, coffee parties. So yeah, if you ever see this one, the images in here are amazing. And I think it would make an excellent journal itself, maybe a, re a large recipe binder. Super excited about that and for 25 cents. I can't pass up ideals. I have, I should, but I don't. Um, this is <laughs> probably one from the 80s, early 90s, but um, some of the images in it are just classic and just as sweet. Looks like it's never been read. So this is all about mothers. Had to grab that. I do plan on making a few mothers themed journals for gifts uh, that will be headed to the shop. And then last but not least, this is the one thing I had to grab when she said I had a free book. So I had looked at it, put it down, and when she said I had a free book, I went and grabbed it. I'm kind of ambivalent about it, but it is a late 70s, early 80s family circle library of cooking. And it's there's nothing exciting or special about it. Honestly, the, the thing I like most are the little tiny pictures that are throughout. I thought those would be really cute fussy cuts for a cookbook binder. Uh, this, this picture right here did make me laugh though. I mean, if I get in the middle of the Southwest desert, that's what I'm thinking is I need to set up a grill. <laughs> so yeah, isn't that fun? Okay, those are my library finds, library bookshop finds. If you have a library near you, or even the next town over that's a little bit larger, call and ask. Most library bookshops have, and they're not just discarded library books. A lot of these are just donations from the community that they can't really put into circulation for any certain reasons. And many times it's because of age and being outdated. Well, that's what we're looking for. So definitely call and ask if, if you have a bookshop near you. Um, the next one is a, a thrift shop near me that was having a sale. So they, they'd already done a Christmas clearance sale, but I drove by this past weekend and it said on the sign, anything that is $5 or less is only $1. Well, I had to go in. And a lot, most of the things I got were exactly $5. There were a few things like this that were 50 cents, but um, I cannot pass up Bobsy Twins, the original hardcover with the images on the front. They make gorgeous junk journals. And nostalgic reasons, I grew up reading these. My mom had so many of them and I read, she passed them down to me and I used to read them in the summers. I love them very much. I felt like they were like my cousins. I, I got to know these four children so well. So, I love my weird cousin. Okay, that's not the, really the ephemera I was hoping for, but <laughs> You never know what you'll find tucked in a book. So isn't that cute? I love it. And I think this is one of their first ones. Cause yeah, 1934. I don't think that's when this was published. This is a reprint, but um, that's kind of what their series became is they started solving mysteries and kind of like Nancy Drew, they would go to different places. Okay, these are two window books. Um, the reason I got these, I think it was because I had just watched a video um, on Lace Cover Sky's channel. She had made these incredibly cute, interactive, clear window 
interchangeable journaling cards. You guys need to head over and, and check it out. She got these little stickers of these vintage ladies and then she had a book of window treatments. Hers were drawn. I don't know that these have drawn images, but I can still use some of the real images of windows. Uh, and she cut the background out of the window and then I will just let you go experience it for yourself. It's so creative the way she did it. But when I saw these, I was like, these are vintage and these have a lot of windows. So for 50 cents each, I decided to go ahead and grab them. If nothing else, for just fun uh, journaling cards for retro journals, which is my favorite time to make. And then another book about windows and um, another thing about me, I have a really hard time passing up anything that's Laura Ashley. I love Laura Ashley design and style. And so had, so here's an illustration. So you could, this is kind of what she used, but it was not quite so Baroque looking. And then she cut the little, um, of course that'd be hard to do with these little bit window panes, but she put the, overlaid this over cellophane and then had a backdrop where she could interchange scenes. So, yeah, I think this was a dollar for hardback. Also at that store, um, I have bought quilting pieces there before. Um, and the bag that I got before was really cute. It had a lot of pattern fabric. This bag is not so cute, but I think it came from the same house or wherever the donation came from. But I've been watching this bag for a while. It, it was $5. And when, of course, they had the sale where everything five is one, I went ahead and grabbed it. So I'm not gonna open it right now, but it's mostly broadcloth that's plain, but there are a few pattern pieces and almost all of them are hexagon, which is a really fun shape to use. So I will need to wash and press these. Uh, I grabbed this. This is a bag of um, thread, like I need more thread. I'm going to do a craft room tour in the next couple of days. So not craft room, craft space. I don't have a craft room. So be looking for that. I'm excited about it. But um, anytime I see wooden spools at a good price, I grab them. I, I have a little bowl where I'm collecting them. And I think this is, I don't know that this is cross stitch fabric. It looks just like a duck cloth. It could be though. And then I had a pattern in here for embroidery. So that was a dollar as well. They had this big box of stickers and occasionally I'll dig through if I have time because sometimes at the bottom of the box you'll find Dennis and Seals and I found one completely unused. This one is unused book. I say that this one has the first page missing and then this one is partially used and I think I already have this one. Somebody really liked the roses. That must be what they bought it for. <laughs> but yeah, I think these were 25 cents. They were definitely not a dollar because my total for all of this was only eight dollars <laughs> or six dollars. And then, oh, I forgot these two guys. Um, these little Scotty dogs, aren't they adorable? Little appliques. I don't know why they're on the edge. Um, it seems like there needs to be something in the middle. It doesn't look open unless it has been restapled. So I'm not really sure if this is the way it came originally, but, and then this is a little apple, of course. So cute. I have a strawberry by the same brand that I'm hoarding for my strawberry journal and I take it out sometimes and just look at it. <laughs> uh, this is probably the most exciting thing. Let me get some scissors and open this. <clears throat> plastic doilies. I have a plastic placemat that I'm going to use to dye some papers. Um, I'm just waiting for a perfect day where I have the time and the space to let everything lay out and dry. But um, these are plastic doilies and they have interesting so these, of course, were $5, but they were only a dollar. So how can you pass that up? <clears throat> Here's one. Isn't that pretty? 
This one looks the same. Nope, this is one of the long ones. I can't imagine using these in my home. It seems like they would like adhere or stick to your wooden furniture, like your tabletops when they got warm. I don't know. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just temporary for like parties. So things, if they get spilled on them, it won't matter. That might be what they're for. <clears throat> this one was super cool. I think this is gonna make a beautiful pattern on paper. Look at this. Isn't that so, so pretty? And then this last one looks just like, it literally just looks like regular lace. It's so nice. I was blown away. I never find stuff like this, like in stores. I just don't. <laughs> I'm seeing all of you find these beautiful plastic lace, everything for your dyeing. And I'm like, I never see this in my stores. And I just, I'm, I refuse to pay you know, secondhand prices or reseller prices for something like that, that I may only use twice or three times a year. Okay, the last store is my favorite church thrift shop. I always stop in the children and babies area and look at this precious smock dress. I grew up wearing smocking. My mom did not smock, my grandma did not. I think my great grandmother did. Um, but there used to be several stores and outlets in our area that sold some smocking brands that were pretty popular back then. So my mom and grandma, whenever they would drive through that part of the state, they would stop and get me things from it. But it, I want to say this is hand done. There's no tag. I mean, you can just tell that from the seams and everything that I think this is a handmade little dress. Also, it appears as if, I don't know if it'll show on camera, there's a line here and there's a line here. So I think maybe it was let out twice. Like maybe it was started out like this and then as the child grew every summer, they got two more wears out of it. I think these are hearts, isn't that pretty? But yeah, is I couldn't pass it up, it was a dollar. I will not be cutting this up for jet journals. This is something that would be beautifully displayed on a hanger or I will save it for my grandchildren one day. I just, I couldn't just let it sit there. You know what I'm saying? something handmade like this that someone spent so many hours on, I had to get it. Um, and then in the little stationary case, I'm not a huge fan of bright orange, but this was just a set of envelopes and uh, folded stationary paper. So for 25 cents, I was like, why not? Um, this was in the little craft bucket. I can't pass up little cross stitch kits. I don't know why. I love to cross stitch. I don't really have time to cross stitch, but maybe one day I will. But this one had two in it. It had this little completely unopened caterpillar with the apple, worm with the apple. And then this little snow, what do they call her? Snow lady. So for 25 cents. Um, and then in the little jewelry bin, I got a Ziggy pin. Isn't he cute? I grew up with Ziggy. I love Ziggy. My grandma loves Ziggy. I remember her cutting out Ziggy um, comics all the time and putting them on her fridge. And then this I got for the beads. I thought they looked like raindrops or like drizzle, the color of drizzle. Uh, and they're glass beads, so I'll be using these in my rain journals that I have started sourcing for. And again, for the rain journals, might possibly use this beautiful umbrella pen. It's got multicolors. And then, I got three little booklets. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this. I've never been able to pronounce this word, but I believe it's um, it's like a German paper cutting art. Uh, so this is just some of the cutting paper and it's all parchment, I believe. I don't know why, but 
Okay, someone, I thought that was a pocket. So I don't have any parchment this color. So for 25 cents, I figured it was worth it. This is probably 25 sheets, 20 sheets maybe. And then this is patterned cutting paper. And we have some just super cute, eight, the 80s country style. We have gingham, these little flowers. Here's someone's work. Oh my goodness, someone has already, talk about fussy cutting. This is like professional fussy cutting right here. Sadly, none of the patterns were in the bin. I looked, but here's a traced pattern and there's a pineapple. The little sunbonnet Sue, it looks like. And then we have a heart. So in a tree maybe. And then some red polka dots. Green polka dots. And gold stripe. And it looks like that here we have pink hearts. The other side was already used. So yeah, do you guys think that was worth 25 cents? I do. I love it. Um, and I cannot leave this there. I'm a huge Hello Kitty fan. Again, not going to cross stitch this probably, but had to have it. Although, wouldn't that be cute though? Cross stitched? I don't know, maybe I will. I also thought about putting this in my shop just because I know that Hello Kitty stuff is highly, highly valued. Oh, there's more than one. I don't know why I thought that was the only one in here. Look at these. <laughs> have a sunshine day. I'm going to have to make some of these before I sell it if I decide to. On a school bus. Notebook cover. Oh my goodness, a notebook cover. Look at that. Look, it's a junk journal. <laughs> that is so precious. I love the sweet dreams. Is this not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> Even if you don't grow, did not grow up with Hello Kitty, this is just so cute. Okay, so excited about that. And then this, I got this because my husband and daughter have been wanting to make these, he used to make them in high school for his friends, but I guess he wanted to be his girlfriends. Uh, yeah, he's really good at intricate beadwork like this. Um, but he said, I kind of forgotten how to do it. I remember these too. So he said, just grab it for 25 cents. So this is a little book talking about how to make these specialty bead designs. That was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited. Now I have to put a place, put these in their place, which is, I'm becoming closer to having a place for everything in my new craft space. Definitely check out the next video that I post. I hope it will be an unveiling of my craft space and how I'm starting to organize it. Um, and thanks for coming along today to see my treasures. I think overall I paid maybe $22 for everything that I showed you today. So stoked about that. Um, and again, check out Sherry's Dreaming, Turquoise Dreaming channel for more participants in Thrifty Thursday. I hope all of you have a wonderful afternoon. Talk to you next time. See ya.